smaller patchwork projects and paste prints as well, which is one of their signature fabrics. They do lots more fabrics besides quilt and cottons, so tune in to the Fabric Freedom Shows here on Hachanda. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hochanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hochanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every single month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you'll benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And do you know the best bit? You can cancel at any time. Becoming a member of Hochanda Freedom, you'll also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom Members discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hochanda price. Freedom Members will also receive our exclusive Members Badge and Freedom Newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings-on behind the scenes. Look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 12,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hochanda Freedom. I'm a Freedom member which means I can shop a lot. It's the discounts and all the special offers you get. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch then it's there. So I'm able to just shop when I'd like. It's just good to have. Yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> you see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website, quoting the item number 888888. So don't forget you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and members newsletter what are you waiting for join hochanda freedom today and become a member of the growing hochanda family hello good evening now it's great to have your company here if you've been with us all day oh we do thank you very much because it's been lovely out there hasn't it do stay with us for this next hour in fact if you were watching the zutter show a little bit earlier this show might be of great interest as well now there was a show earlier on today and it was very very busy indeed um, we've got the same items on this hour but if you missed it it really was busy janice was presenting the show great show and i tell you what we've got some amazing products here and the most gorgeous samples as well let's start right at the beginning because let's show you what you've got first of all alphabet die set now you're thinking oh well i've seen alphabets before well these are really really special i absolutely adore these for many reasons actually 52 dies in total so you're getting more than just your 26 letters i'll tell you why well you might have spotted it already you've got two dies per letter that's where your 52 comes from and look at that price 14 pounds and 99 pence now if i show you the alphabet in its entirety already cut out you can see you can see why you've got two dies per letter there so you've got kind of the background and then you've got the the cut out letter as well but that doesn't mean that you've just got the one way of working with them. Oh no, well have a look at this. Just using one of the letters, how many different ways have you got of working with it there? We've got there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven different ways of working with it, whether you're offsetting a little bit, whether you're putting borders around the edge, whether you're just using the letter on its own, whether you're overlaying. So you have got those options. A great buy, that one, 14.99, item number 006909. Now, we've also got the numbers for you. Now, this is a, a lovely bundle again, and we've got a whole collection for you here, actually. We're going to show you the details for the complete collection. Now, you can go for these individually if you want, but I think if you're going to go for numbers, you want the whole lot, don't you? And these are such a generous size. Now, you were loving these earlier as well. 60% of the stock has already gone. Now, you can see there you've got the different dies per number as well. Now, look, it's not just two this time. You've got more than two dies per number. So, again, it's going to give you lots of options. Now, I will just tell you about the dispatch date before we go any further as well. It's the 3rd of June. Everything's coming from Holland. So, uh, Creel is, of course, very well known wor worldwide. Got a great following as well. Um, Annalise, the designer behind, of course, everything. And everything's created math mathematically. I knew there'd be a word again tonight. Uh, that means that everything. Everything will sort of work with each other and it's all very precise and very well done. Um, 
exactly the same with the numbers that I've got to tell you. Now, let me show you these. Now, I, I would start at the beginning, but I've kind of got this here because I love this. I love this. Look, you can turn the numbers into a shaker as well. Now, that could be number six or it could be number nine. Uh, really lovely because you've got those different dies so you can work with these in different ways. So if you want to build up just whatever number, I mean, you, maybe you're making a card that looks like a, a shirt with a number on it, a football shirt or something like that. Maybe it's an age, maybe it's the amount of years that you've been married, perhaps. Maybe it could be a date. You know, so you've got every combination you can think of if you're going for the full collection. Maybe those milestones as well, like 18th and um, 21st birthday, all those special occasions. So you are getting an awful lot for your money here again. Now, there's a freedom price on this one as well. You're saving £7 anyway, but let's have a look at the freedom price. Oh, there you go, £12.29. Now, you know what that means, don't you? If you're saving that sort of money, it's one of those why not deals. 6 97 is the price for freedom for a month. So if you're not a Freedom member, joining means you're still going to make a bigger saving. And you've got a FlexiBuy option as well. Now you can see there, Flexi Freedom price, two payments of £23.83. Item number 105971. Got some gorgeous samples there as well. Can I just pick this one up? Because I love this. Look, what a way to present a gift box there. Look, you've got your 18 there, but what, isn't that beautiful? I absolutely adore that. And because with the dies here, you've got those different layers, you've even got the stitching detail into those numbers as well. Really, really do like those a lot. But we have got much more to show you as well. Let's go to our happy die set. Happy. Well, if you just want to use the word happy, we can use it for whatever occasion we want, can't we? Uh, now, again, we've got some great... We've got some great samples again here. Uh, let me just show you the board first of all, because again, you've got those different dies for the different layers. So you've got the solid and then you've got the cutout bit as well. You can paper piece bits in there if you want to do. Uh, let me show you this little book. Isn't this amazing? This is why I said about Zutta. If you were buying those boards earlier on, you can see so many different ways of working with these dies of how you can create some beautiful albums and journals can't you how lovely is that really really do like that great way of using all your different papers up maybe your favorite papers that you've been saving look at this going for the numbers as well happy for you maybe you've just got engaged and you want to send something like that really lovely uh, i'm just going to pick this board up as well because you can see that the dies will cut different types of materials as well so we've got obviously a craft card there, we've got various different thickness and colours of card there, even your acetate has been cut here. That means you can achieve an awful lot with these. In fact, when it comes to acetate, think about your shakers again. How fabulous is that? Love that. If you like shaker cards, we've got a set coming up for you. We're going to give you the details as well. We will show you that in a little while. But there you are at the bottom of the screen, just 11 99 Now, if you're going for the happy dies there, 11 99 too, 363 319. Right, the next one. We've got Merry Xmas for you. Um, right, let's have a look. There we go. You can see it's just Xmas, but you could have happy, you could have merry if you wanted to put it with it. You could handwrite that. You could, um, I don't know, you could build up your letters with other alphabet dies, perhaps if you're going for other items as well. Um, maybe just want to use the X for a kiss. You could do that as well. Yes, you could spell Mama, uh, Sam. You could spell there as well. Uh, yes, you, there's various combinations that you could do there. Maybe nicknames as well, abbreviations. <laughs> so lots of choices. It's not just for Christmas, you see. 11 99 is the price. You've got nine dies in total there. Again, you've got the dies that cut out that stitching, which I really, really adore. 236593. From Christmas, the next one, very popular. Oh, we're approaching 60% of this one, baby. You've got to look behind me at the bunting as well in a little while. Oh, that is absolutely gorgeous. It really is. But let's have a look at the baby dies, first of all. Gift boxes, cards, albums, frames. Do you know what? Just wall, wall decor, perhaps for the nursery. Doesn't even have to be a baby, because you do call your girlfriend baby, don't you? Or maybe your boyfriend baby. Do you do that? Do you do that? Some people do. <laughs> I don't, no. <laughs> 
but many people do. There you go, baby girl. How lovely is that? And if you do love this shape as well, watch out for this die cover. We've got that on the show as well. Eleven ninety nine. In fact, details at the bottom of the screen. If you like that tag shape die, it is gorgeous. Really, really lovely. There you go. What fabulous dies we've got. Six seven eight four nine eight is the item number. We've got another word coming up for you. We've got party. Now, I like, I love these samples. I've got to say a big thank you to the design team as well. There's a particular lady who's behind the design team as well, and she does um, all the social media and the blog stuff, that sort of thing. Her name is Mandy, and she's done the demonstrations for this hour, so we will be seeing those demonstrations. So, Mandy, if you are watching, what an amazing job you've done. And, of course, Annalise behind the company, just incredible. Right, okay, so we've done part of it, we've done baby. Let's have a look at this sample. Look at that. How wonderful, Look, a little pop-up card. I love that. Party time. We'll all be having a party, won't we, when lockdown's over and we all get back to what once used to be. 247046 if you want to go for the word party. Again, lots of ways of working with it, lots of uses for it. Maybe scrapbooking as well, you want to use that word. Perhaps you've got photographs that you want to put in your scrapbooks of everybody having a jolly old time. There we are, 247046. Now the next one. We do use a lot of abbreviations, don't we? Because of texting and that sort of thing. And sometimes words can be quite long, so we do abbreviate them. Well, what about this one? You've got B-Day for birthday. You could just use day. You could just use uh, yay, yay. Uh, bad is another word in there. Dad is in there. That's a good point, Dad, actually, because it's not that far from... Uh, Father's Day. Yes, if it's uh, Father's Day, it might be Dada. Uh, dad. Yeah, Daddy. The whole word Daddy is in there, isn't it? Because, yes, you only need the three letters. Um, what else have we got in there? There's a famous pop group in there as well. Yes, that one. The Swedish one. Right, let's have a look at these. These are gorgeous. I love, love, love these. Were they Swedish? They were, weren't they? <laughs> I have to question myself then. You see, you, if you go for the other alphabets, you can still add the happy there. Let's show you the details for the other alphabet. Now, I'm, I'm I don't know if there's a particular name for this. I'm sorry, I'm just sort of going off on one a little bit. The smaller alphabets that we saw at the beginning of the show, there's a lot of, there's a real style of a card that is so, so effective where people cut into the, the decorative paper or the cardstock and kind of raise the letters up so it looks like they're just emerging from the background. It's so, so effective. Um, if anybody who's done it or knows what I mean, please send me a picture in. Maybe we've got, I don't know, I've not seen them yet. But if anybody knows what I'm talking about and we don't see it on the show, please do send a picture in if you've ever done that because it looks amazing. Right, okay. Karen Price, if you're watching, you've done it. Sorry. She's my friend. It's all right. It's all right. Karen's my friend. Uh, there you got B day <laughs> for your birthday. Eleven ninety nine three eight three nine two zero is the item number. Now it wouldn't be complete without the word love, would it? There you go. I know lots of Karen. She sees. So I've got to say the second name. She'll not mind. She's my friend. Uh, right there, the word love, and I do love this because you've got the heart there instead of the O. Isn't that lovely? A lovely sample once again, but of course, mixing with other things as well. How about this? Oh, love. It does that fold, actually? No, it doesn't. It's just... <laughs> you can put whatever numbers you want on there, can't you? You can join whatever you want. Love, one, two. It's gorgeous. There you've got another lovely card there. Oh, I do like it. These are absolutely beautiful. I love the red, the white, and the black together. Aren't they stunning? They really, really are. Look, using the other alphabet again with love. That is got Oh, and that tag again. That is coming up. I promise you that is coming up. We can't get all of the details on the screen all at once. So do watch out for these. 11.99 if you're going for love. You've got nine dies there. 154617 is your item number. Right, next up, we've got... Oh, these are lovely as well. Now, uh, the next one, we've got... We've got, oh, number six for you. Number six. 
worldwide it makes it easier to use numbers rather than names now I have seen this one before actually um, there, there was actually a name we gave it before and I can't remember what it was but you can you can do all sorts with this there's lots of ways of working with it if it doesn't make sense it will do I'm sure by the end of the show 9.99 is the price you're saving two pounds on this one two seven four seven four five I made a little gift bag out of that and you've got the panels in there as well we can see this in a video actually we are going to see how this works uh, yes there details on the screen let's go to that demonstration as soon as we can actually let's just uh, see this as I say there's lots of different ways you're gonna see you find lots of different ways when you get these home let's go to demonstration I believe it is Mandy that's going to be there showing us how to work with this the second project I'm going to show you is an advent calendar but of course you can make any countdown calendar for example for a birthday Cards number 06 is the bag in card size and extra number 22 is the same bag but smaller. Die cut the outline twice. Die cut the layer out of design paper. I used some Christmas design paper. Both die cutted outline shapes are the same height. You can use the zigzag die to shorten the front of the bag if you like. Fold all the scoring lines. Use red sticky tape on the adhesive strip. For the bottom strip, you only need to put red sticky tape on one of them, because you will stick them on top of each other. First adhere one side, then the bottom. And then the other side. You now have a bag. Because I have shortened my bag on the front, I also have to shorten the layer. Glue the layer on the bag. The small bag is exactly the same, so you can put it together in the same way as the guard's bag. Use Craigalise cards numbers and Craigalise for journal and planners numbers to give each bag a number. Die cut the base of both numbers out of black cardstock. Use Craigalise make a sticker out of your die cutted shape behind the white cardstock. Die cut the shadow number 2 from the cards die set and die cut the solid number 2 from the four journals and planners die set out of this white cardstock. Die cut the solid number 2 from the cards die set out of green cardstock. Glue the shadow number on the base number. Use 3D foam to stick the solid green number on the shadow white number. Stick the little solid number 2 on the little black base number 2. I already made the cards number 4. Stick them both on the cards back. Stick the small numbers on the extra back. Make all the bags you need. Yolanda made this beautiful advanced calendar. What a wonderful idea. Do you know, just as we came to the end and saw that there, myself and the guys in the gallery and Chloe all went oh all at the same time that is such a good idea isn't it and you're loving this die set as well we're just calling it the number six die it's not a number six it's just because as we explained worldwide create creelers are known worldwide they've got a great following so it's much easier to use numbers rather than names sometimes to save confusion of course 9.99 
is the price of the number six die. A third of the stock has gone. Really, really useful. And there genuinely is lots of other ways you could work with that as well. Um, yes, very busy. 274-745. Now, the camera is up next. Oh, oh, I've got a bit of an update, I think. Of this one? No. Is that gone? That is... I just wanted to show... I wanted to show that. You got your zutters early. You could be doing things like that. Right, okay, sorry, I can't talk about that anymore. Uh, but we can talk about the balloon. I love this one as well. Very, very clever samples again. Now, this is this is wonderful. Now, you're getting... This is uh, number 23 die set. You're getting four dies. That balloon, do you know what I really love about this? You even get the little shine, the little um, where the light catches, the little reflection bit which really brings it to life, doesn't it? Now, perhaps you want to team it with some of our words, like party. That just works so well, doesn't it? Doesn't it look lovely? Absolutely gorgeous. Maybe you want to work with birthday, the B-Day, happy birthday. Using the happy onto a balloon, of course, but what about this one? Using multiple cutouts and then you can attach them together in such a clever way that you're creating a three-dimensional balloon. So you could hang that up. You know, you could make a whole mobile of those, couldn't you, in a children's room? That look lovely. You could even put little photographs in there, perhaps. Love that idea. Again, great prices. These prices are just amazing. Ten ninety-nine. It's a new today. You are getting four individual dies there. Nine six four. Five, six, seven. Love the size of that as well. Really, really fabulous. Right, next. Uh, we've got some banners for you. Now, I like these as well. I love banners. I often use them myself when I'm card making. But again, great ideas here with the samples. Now, what I really, really like about these is not only have you got that decorative edge, but look how precise that is. It's so neat. It really, really is. But look how you can decorate up as well. Oh, look. That is so cute. Isn't that just beautiful? Let me show you what you can achieve with the die set itself because you're getting an awful lot of dies here. Nine individual dies. I adore that detail. We've seen stitching. We've seen various sort of scalloped edges and that sort of thing. But that, it just, it is so precise and neat. It looks wonderful built together. And that price again, $19.99. Item number 810456. Now we've got some flags for you. So the same principle. But this time we've got um, we've got a different shape for you. So it's more of a flag shape. So you could make your bunting out of this. I'm just looking at the back there. We have got some bunting, but it wasn't done with this one. But you could use this in, you know, various different ways. Again, portrait landscape way. That could be uh, cut out on a fold as well. And you could make little, little albums or something with this as well. You know, so that, again, various different ways. They all nest together. You've got that detail there. Just wonderful. Lovely set there. $19.99 again is the price. $889.624. Right. Item, item number or die number 103 and 104. I wish I'd known about these when I was doing Zutter. Again, because I was talking about if you haven't got a Zutter machine, there's lots of ways you can add your holes and things to your pages. Well, you can do with these as well. But also, not just adding holes so you can put these pages together and make albums, but also I've noticed on some of the samples they've been used as hinges to join bits together as well, which is really clever. Twelve ninety nine is the price if you want to go for these. You've got two dies. They are very, very useful. They might not look that exciting, but honestly, they are so useful. Six nine five nine five eight is the item number if you want to go for those. Now we have got another demonstration coming up. It in fact is with these actual dies. Here we go. Hi, I would like to show you how to make wonderful projects with Crayolis only in site number 103 and number 104. You can make beautiful albums with the cards, words, die sets. Die cut the base twice. Die cut the shadow letters out of white cardstock. Cut the two base shapes into individual base letters. You can use the white die-cutted shadow letter to cut the base letters to the right size. Die-cut the solid letters and glue the three layers on top of each other. Cut a strip of white cardstock with a height of 10.2 cm for the pages. If you use a word with four letters, you need at least five pages. 
glue the letters on the right end of each page, leaving one blank as the last page. Lay the pages on top of each other and make sure you place the letters in the right order. Hold all pages in place with a clip in the middle. This way you have enough space to cut the individual pages with a trimmer or craft knight at the left side. You can use Crayolis only in side number 103 to make the holes to bind the album with book rings. Use Crayolis only in side number 104 if you want to bind the album with ribbon. Oh, do you know, when you see a demonstration like that and you see how simple that is actually to put together, but to look at finished samples, you think, how on earth has that been done? I haven't got that actual sample here, but we have got another one done with the word happy. And of course, this is also available for you. So creating those pages, I mean, this is beautiful, isn't it? It really is. Using your favorite pages and what a gift to give to somebody. Beautiful. Now, you're loving the die set as well, the one for the uh, for the holes there that you can create across those albums and in conjunction with your different words. In fact, stock-wise, over 60% of the stock has gone. These prices don't get much better. $12.99 for the whole set. Now, you've got two sets there, five dies in total, Six nine five nine five eight. I am just going to show you while I'm here again, do you know... Thinking of the same principle there, I don't think the holes have been used on that, but I'll show you this one because they have there. So time with ribbon. But that idea that we've just seen, you can do it with so many of the words that we've got on today's show. Do love those. Right, moving on. Now, another set that is really, really nice. Now, we did give you a hint of this a little bit earlier on. What about your shaker cards? If you want to make shaker cards, then you've got the whole kit here to do it. And what a price, yet again, Eleven ninety nine is going to get you a whole kit. Now, you're getting three foam sheets, which are important, obviously, for your shaker cards because you need that depth. You've got ten sticker sheets in here, um, so obviously you're going to need those as well. You've got 20 transparent thin sheets, so in other words, we've got kind of the, the thinner acetate or the transparent sheets, that's the one I've got there. But you've also got five more sheets which is thicker, much thicker, and this is A4 in size as well. So a really, really good buy, this one. What can you achieve with it? So much. I mean, look at that. Isn't that fab? It really is. Thinking back to those numbers again there, oh, I mean, look, it's just... Anybody that receives anything like that, regardless of the number or the initial or whatever's on the front there, it's just going to look so wonderful. They're going to be so pleased. And there you've got that Xmas die there. So all seasons, of course. If you want to go for that bundle, it's 151753. That is the item number that you need. Right, we've got some labels and tags coming. I kept telling you to watch out for this one. I love the shape of it. Let me just pick these samples up. Right, okay, you can see the whole set there. You have, in fact, got six dies in total. And you can see here these wonderful, these wonderful cards. Or, again, it could be little albums. I mean, that just, just opened like a card. But it works both ways. It could be that way up. You could have it as a tack shape that way up, or it could be horizontal or landscape, of course, as well. Another sample there just with the baby words, same shape die. But because they nest and they layer up as well, it just gives you that really lovely professional look, doesn't it? $16.99 if you want to go for that one. And you have got six dies, as I say. You've even got the little eyelets there. Two-thirds of the stock has gone. Item number 558694. Now, something else we've got on the show for you is Creely's own black cardstock, which is a really good black. And I know, I know when we say this, Pete, some people think, well, black is black. No, it's not. It really isn't. If you put various different black cardstocks together, they will all look different shades. And this is a really good true black. So if you're wanting to uh, mat and layer, it's going to set off everything. If you want to use it as a base for your little albums, of course, you can do that as well. Great price because you're getting 42 sheets, and these are A4 for just $9.99. Really nice weight as well. You've seen lots of the samples made with this. Um, I've just got two there. I'm going to pick that up. I don't know exactly what the weight is on that, but if I just bring in again, just bring in again a couple of our samples, so you can see the black cardstock has been used, especially if you're layering up. Doesn't that make those colours work so well? It doesn't matter what colour you put with it either. It's just going to make everything pop. Right, there we are. So if you want to go for that, 770200. Now the next item, you're going to love this if you haven't seen it before. This is your twist and pop die set. 
twist and pop. Now you think, what on earth is that? Well, let me show you what it is. I, I do love these. Get ready, get ready. <gasps> wow! How amazing is that? Look, and it just, can you see how it does twist? That's why it's twist and pop, look. Look, I'm going to do that really slowly. Look at that. Do you know, we've just had a great idea come from the gallery. What has happened? This is from our wonderful director tonight. What about if you've just found, you're having a baby and you just found out whether it's male or female? <gasps> that would be a good way of revealing, wouldn't it? You could, you know, just give that to grandparents or whatever and just, there you go. That's what we're going to get. Wonderful. £20.99. Number 13 dice set that is, but it's the Twist and Pop 161419. Right, another demonstration coming up. We are using, actually, oh, well, say we. Amanda's using the uh, <laughs> the tag die set and also the love as well, which is a, a stunning set. Here we go. We're going to combine a card's rear die set with Crayley's Big Labels and Tags number 15. I use cards number 156, Love. Die cut the base out of red cardstock once. I cut the shadow letters out of white cardstock. I cut the solid letters L, V, E out of design paper and the heart shape out of red cardstock. I want a small heart shape centerpiece from design paper, so I die cut the heart again from design paper. You have now die-cutted all the letters and I'm going to glue all layers together. Use 3D foam blocks behind the red heart. Stick this on the white heart. You will see a white border around the red heart. Glue the smaller heart of design paper in the red heart. This way the heart will stand out more. Glue all solid letters on the white shadow letters. I usually die cut the shadow letters from black cardstock or white cardstock. This way the solid letters stand out more. I stick all the shadow letters and the heart on the red base shape with 3D foam blocks. I like to alternate with glue and 3D foam to get a nice depth effect. I want to put the word love on a label. Cut the largest die from big labels and tags number 15 out of red cardstock and the second largest die out of white cardstock. These labels have a beautiful stitched edge. The label die set comes with two sizes of circle dies with which you can die cut an opening in a label. I choose the largest opening because I want to have enough space for some ribbons later. Glue the white label onto the red label. Now die cut the circle out of both labels at the same time. I would like to add an extra text to make the card more special. I use the office number 3. Each letter consists of two dies. I want to make the word with. Die cut the shadow letters out of Craigley's black cardstock. For the solid letters I want to use white cardstock with Craigley's make a sticker out of your die cutted shape behind it. These are double sided sticker sheets. Remove the glossy protective layer from the sheet. Stick the sheet behind half of a sheet of white cardstock. When the sticky edges peek out a little, cut this off first. Die cut the solid letters out of the white cardstock. Now you have made stickers that you can easily stick on the shadow letters. I like to use these sticker sheets behind detailed or small die cutted shapes. 
This way you can easily stick them without messing with glue. First I glue the word love on the label. My small office letters will be slightly outside the label, so I only stick 3D foam blocks on the bottom of the letter. My label is almost finished. I only want some ribbons through the opening. I often use multiply ribbons in different colors and widths. I think this gives a very nice luxurious effect. I tie the ribbon with a silver string and make a bow to finish it off. Add some rhinestones for the finishing touch. You can send the label as it is or you can make a hinge card with the label. So you can add your message inside. To make a hinge card, die cut the largest label of Crayerly's big labels and tags number 15 again out of red cardstock. Make a scoring line at one and a half centimeter from the left side. Fold the score line and lay it flat again. Apply glue to the self-made glue tabs and glue the label behind your decorated label. Now you have made a hinge card of this beautiful label. Not all cards words are the same length. Cards B day is slightly shorter than cards love. Die cut all three layers of B day. As you can see, I now use Crayley's black cardstock for the shadow letters. I always stick the shadow letter on the base shape with 3D foam blocks, so that you get a nice dimensional effect. I always glue the solid letters on top of the shadow letters. Drawing a pencil line to get your office letters nice and straight is also an option. Be sure to remove the line once the letters are in place. Because the card's B day die doesn't have the same length as the love die, all the office letters fit on the label itself. You're really spoilt for choice tonight, aren't you, with these dies? They, they're all amazing. But let's give you a bit of a recap. The alphabets that were being used there, the smaller alphabets, just a lovely set, this one, because you have got so many options. I'm going to show you the boards again. Now, we're, we're going through the stock of these very, very quickly, actually. $14.99 is the price, but we're now at limited stock on these. So if you really, really want them, you need to be quick. You need to get those baskets checked out. 006909. Let me just show you the boards again, because obviously, just looking at these, all of the dies there, you've got 52 dies in total because you've got all letters of the alphabet, but each letter obviously has the two layers. You've got the solid and then the overlay as well. Uh, just fabulous. But it doesn't mean that you just stuck to using those two layers in one way. You can create so many different looks, whether you offset, whether you have that little bit of a shadow, whether you just use the inner bit, whether you use the outer bit, whether you paper piece together. It just goes on and on. Limited stock. You need to be quick on those. 006909. Now, numbers, when it comes to the numbers themselves, we've got a whole collection here, a complete collection. Now, if you've got a particular favorite or you want a, a certain one, you can find these individually, but the whole collection is where most of you are going. And I think when it comes to numbers, you just want it all, don't you? Because there's gonna be so many occasions, whether it's dates, whether it's ages and milestones or whatever you want that number for, you are going to find you're going to use the whole lot. You're saving seven pounds here, 52 pounds and 95 pence. But of course, being that price, I'm sure we can split that, can't we? Can we split that? We certainly can. Oh, there we go. Two payments of £26.48. and pence. Remember that demonstration at the top of the hour with the advent calendar. That was using 
large letters, if you notice some of them, but also small ones. Well, I'll come back to those small ones in a second because you're probably thinking, well, where are they? I can't see them. Right, now then, flexi buy option there, two payments at £26.48, as I say. Item number 105971, but it still gets better because you've got a freedom price on this one as well. You are saving £12.29. Freedom price is 6 dollars so it's worth joining the Freedom Club if you're going for this collection because you're still going to make that saving, of course. Can I just show you this? And I'm bringing this in simply because I know in the demonstrations you will have seen some of the smaller numbers they're being referred to. If you don't know where they are, because we've not shown you them, it's because they're an end-of-call item. What that means is when you go to check your baskets out or when you're speaking to our customer services, you've got certain items ask them for this ask them for this well hopefully we can bring a, a, a picture of the website or we'll see if we can do that for you let's have a little look we can actually let's do that so if you go onto the website let's say you're buying well we're just adding in there look, we, we're just buying some of those numbers there uh, when you go to check your basket out or if you're talking to customer services you can opt to go for an end of call item now it will be there now you've got free delivery add-ons. Now there's different ones to choose from and one of them will be the numbers. There it is, the one at the top. Only $8.99 and that will allow you to go for those numbers as well. Okay, now we can't continue anymore to show you because obviously we're not doing that realistically at the moment. It is real, but you know what I mean, we can't check it out. Uh, but if you want those, and I think, I really think they're well worth every single penny and more to pop into your basket at the same time. Let me just show you some of the bigger numbers because of the full collection, of course. It doesn't matter what combination you're going with. And I love the fact that you've got the half there, or you could split that in a different way. You could do that however you want. Yes, what if you've got a shop and you want to make your own uh, price? Because you could have half price. You could have half of something else 34 is a great number isn't it you could have 43 you could have whatever you want and of course your shaker cards as well there you go 105971 right okay moving down the word happy we've seen this being used in one of those wonderful albums in fact i've got one of those wonderful albums just here uh, so a reminder of that the word happy can be used in many different ways though your shaker cards again don't forget we've got that kit available uh, bottom of the screen, you've got the details, it's just going to come up. Using some of the smaller letters as well, if you've gone for the small alphabet, they were limited stock, weren't they? I think we're just hanging on to those. Uh, oh, right, small alphabet has technically sold out. That means that all stock is allocated in baskets. Please check those baskets out. If somebody doesn't and we get any bounce back, we'll let you know. Right, when it comes to the dies and the happy, there's different uh, ways of cutting them again. So if I bring this board in, you can see this isn't to the foam. You've got acetate there as well. You've got craft cards, you've got various different thicknesses of cards. And of course, you've got the different layers there as well. You've got 11 dies in total in that one set. I love this card. This is really nice. Look at that. How effective is that? The way it's been coloured. You know, whether you layer up your paper or you just use your inks to get that sort of rainbow effect. It looks really effective. 363319 is the item number if you want to go for happy. Now, we've also got Xmas for you. Uh, there is a sample further down, actually. We'll co hopefully come that. It's, it's where the shaker cards are. We'll see if we can get hold of that. But Xmas. Um, we were saying you can, you know, you can use initials or you could use different, just use the X as a kiss if you wanted to. You could do that. So not just for Christmas, of course. And then, then if you've managed to get the small alphabet, then you can add words like happy and merry if you wanted to. Wrong way up. There we go. There we are. There's the shaker card for you. So a really handy die yet again. Item number 236593, just 11.99 again. Three layers to those, remember, because you've got the stitching detail, the letters and the shadow. Right, baby. This has been a popular one. I'm not surprised. Oh, I don't know. I wonder if we are going to have a bit of a baby boom next year. I think I think we might. You know, I would be getting this die. I'm not. I'm not going to elaborate on that. But I'm not. I'm not getting. Uh, I'm not getting this die. I was going to say. <laughs> I would get this die. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say there. I could have got myself in an awful lot of trouble. I would go for this die because I think you're going to find you might be using this an awful lot if you make cards to sell. And uh, it's not just for your cards, is it? Think about your bunting, your banners, uh, your albums, your scrapbook pages, 
Amazing. Eleven ninety nine is the price on that one. Six seven eight four nine eight. Right. Staying with the same theme. Shall we have a party? Hopefully we can soon. It's party time. Look. Oh. If, again, if you've got that small off, but you can add all sorts of different words there. Really lovely. It doesn't have to be a pop-up, though. It can be whatever you want it to be because you've got all those dyes there. 11 Then we have B-Day, which is abbreviated for birthday, of course. Um, again, if you've got the small off, but you can add other words with it as well. Uh, oh, look. That's, I didn't show that one last time, I don't think. Let's have a look at this one. That's a really lovely card, isn't it? Really nice. 11 99 again, 383-920. That's the item number you need for that one. And we do have a demonstration for this particular die set as well. So that's where we're heading right now. For the first card, I use the card's word B-Day. Die cut the solid numbers out of design paper. Die cut the shadow letters out of Crayley's black cardstock. I cut the base out of Crayley's thin transparent sheets. To die cut transparent sheet nicely, lay the transparent sheet on a thin piece of paper and put the die on top of it with the cutting lines face down. Glue the shadow letters on the transparent base. Use 3D foam blocks to stick the solid letters on top of the shadow letters. I'm going to combine the card's word die with the card's balloon. This die set has three layers. The base with dots, the bottom layer with dots, and the top layer is smooth. Die cut all three layers out of different colored cardstock. Die cut the small die out of the smallest balloon. Glue the small balloon on the black balloon. And use 3D foam blocks to stick the black balloon on the largest balloon. I would like to add an extra text to make the card more special. I use the office number 3. Each letter consists of two dice. I only use the solid letters this time. I want to make the word happy. For the solid letters, I use black cardstock with Crayolis. Make a sticker out of your die cutted shape behind it. These are double sided sticker sheets. Die cut the solid letters out of the black cardstock. Now you have made stickers that you can easily stick on the balloon. I like to use these sticker sheets behind detailed or small die cutted shapes. This way you can easily stick them without messing with glue. I place the balloon and the word B-Day on the bottom of a paper. When I like the placement I mark the left side on the word B-Day and add glue to the part of the balloon that will be underneath the word B-Day. I cut the base one more time to make a hinge card. Make a scoring line one and a half centimeters from the top of the card. Add red sticky tape or glue, or both on the adhesive strip. Put the decorated front on top of the plain base. You now have a hinge card with a fold at the back of the card. 
Oh, isn't she a clever lady, Mandy, there on the demonstrations? I've got the actual finished card here as well. It, it really is such a clever idea. And you can see how that balloon opens out there. Using the B-Day, of course, and the balloon itself. So we've got details for both on the screen. The balloon is at the side of the screen, 964597. And, of course, B-Day is at the bottom, 1199383920. Let me just bring in that other balloon as well to show you. I mean, this is such a clever idea. Look at that. Isn't that fabulous? Real lovely. I love the fact that you've got that little uh, reflection in there that cuts out just so you've got that, you know, to add that detail to the balloon. Right, okay. Um, so we've covered a couple of dies there. Lovely demonstration, as I say there. So if you want to go for those, details are still on the screen for both of them. Brand new today for that balloon as well, of course. Uh, don't miss out on that. Now the banners, let's give you a reminder of those because you've got an awful lot of dies for your money again here. Beautiful detail. I'm just going to bring in the sample board. Self-explanatory, really, but you can use these either way up. 19.99, you're getting nine dies in total. You are getting that wonderful detail around the edge as well. 810456. Then we have, oh, the next one is, we've gone from the banners to the flags. There we are. So it's uh, very similar, but obviously the shape is different. These will work together as well. You could alternate them. 19.99 is the price again, 889.624. And once again, I'll show you the board there so you can see how they look when they're nested up together with that gorgeous detail. There we go. We've got that there. Uh, right. Another set coming up to remind you about that has been very, very popular, and I'm not surprised. 103 and 104 is simply the numbers that they're titled because it says confusion with names, but these, as you know, as I'm not going to say the word boring, but as uninteresting as they may appear on the outside, of course you can achieve so much. So building those albums together, putting your ribbon and your strings through the edges there to tie those together, using them as hinges, just extremely useful dies. $12.99, incredible price there. 695-958 is the item number. Now we do have time to get back to Mandy. We've got another demonstration coming up. We've got the big label, labels and the tags here. Ty cut all three base labels out of white cardstock. Ty cut all three layers out of design paper. Glue the layer on top of the base label. Use the middle length die to die cut holes in the smallest label. Place the die 4 or 5 cm from the left side. Die cut the label. Place the small label on top of the middle label and mark the holes with a pencil. The biggest die is too long, so you have to use the middle length die again. Place the middle label on the largest label and mark the holes with a pencil. The biggest die fits onto the label, but the marked points are not visible. This means the die will cut the holes at the wrong place. Therefore, I use the middle length die again. Place the die and die cut your label. To add an extra hole on the bottom and the top, move your die one circle up or down. Wiggle the die so it will lock itself in the circles that are already made and die cut again. Make a scoring line in the middle of the circles. You can put a ribbon through the circles and decorate your card. Didn't I say that was a very, very useful tie? It really, really is. Now let's give you the details of the labels. 1699, 558, 694, six dies in total. You do get the eyelets as well. Do go for those as well. We can just squeeze in another demonstration. It's part two of the one we've just been watching. Die cut three base labels and three layers. Make holes using the largest die from Crayolis only inside number 103. Die cut with this die again, but place it a little bit more to the right. Put a ribbon through the holes. 
die cut Crayolis only in sight number 104 out of brown cardstock twice. Stick Crayolis make a sticker out of your die cutted shape behind brown cardstock and die cut Crayolis only in sight number 104 twice again. Take one of both to use together. Remove the protective layer of the one with Crayolis make a sticker out of your die cutted shape behind it and stick both shapes together. Pay attention, you need an adhesive strip on both sides. First stick the adhesive strip with Crayolis make a sticker out of your die cutted shape behind one label. Put red sticky tape on the other adhesive strip. Remove the protective layer and stick the tab behind the other label. You can add some ribbon through the holes. Repeat this process the second connection. I'm so glad we managed to squeeze that in because that die set, it is just the most useful die set, isn't it? Now, uh, you can see the details still there, 12 99 they've just disappeared, everything's on the website. Before we go, I'm just going to give you another reminder of our full collection of numbers here as well. There you go, £52.95, £7 pounds saving, but it does get better because there is a freedom price on this one. We've got a flexi buy option as well. You're getting 32 individual dies if you go in for the full collection. You can get these individually. You will find those on the website if you want them. Uh, but do you know what? Most of you have gone for the full collection because you've got so many different options. I am going to give you a final reminder of our end of call numbers as well. Don't miss out on those because if you're going for this collection, that is so well worth putting in your basket. In fact, add that in. Add that in with anything else as well. It doesn't have to be just the numbers. It could be anything that you want it to be. 105971. Do you know, you've got to end on a happy note, haven't you, for the day? Happy note. Not because of the team in the gallery. It's because I'm going on that. Well, I'm not going on holiday. I've got holiday days coming up. So I'm all smiley and happy. No, I love being here. I'm going to miss this place. Right, I'll be back soon. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to be handing over to Alex. and I'm going to remind our American viewers as well. We've got some good news for them. Uh, that's going to come up, but we've got, we've got the menu to come up as well. <laughs> Let's hope it's there. We've had those gremlins in the system, haven't we, today? Let's hope it's there. We've got lots of time before the menu, actually. I'm just getting distracted because this, I don't know what's going on in that gallery. Chloe, bless her. Look, she's still working hard. She's packing away. Alex is there with a the shawl on. She's feeling a bit cold and shivery. Oh, dear. What? You've still got time to take your baskets out, of course. We have had sellouts. We've had limited stock. Just check the website out. Everything's on there. I'll be coming up with a menu any second. Oh. <laughs> yes, here's the menu. Hooray! Studio Light Happy Moments. And then we've got Crafty Soul Silly MDF. And then we're back with Studio Light Happy Moments for another hour later on.